Paris Hilton returns to Utah for signing of ceremonial bill for a law that regulates centers for troubled teens. The hotel heiress previously claimed she was abused at Provo Canyon School in the Ethicist Paris U2B documentary. Paris Hilton returned to Salt Lake City, Utah on Tuesday for a ceremonial bill signing for a law that regulates treatment centers for troubled teens in the state. The legislation for facilities that treat teens with behavioral and mental health issues gained final approval in the legislature in early March, about a month after Hilton gave emotional testimony in support of the bill. Gov. Spencer Cox signed the bill last month but held a ceremonial signing with Hilton on Tuesday. The new law will require more government oversight of youth residential treatment centers and documentation for when they use restraints. It will also prohibit treatment centers from using sedation or mechanical restraints without prior authorization. Hilton testified she was abused mentally and physically at a Utah boarding school, where she said staff members would beat her, force her to take in known pills, watch her shower and send her to solitary confinement without clothes as punishment. The socialite and reality TV star also spoke about the abuse in a documentary titled, This is Paris, that was released this fall. Since the documentary was released, other celebrities have spoken out about their experiences at the school or others like it, including Michael Jackson's daughter Paris Jackson and tattoo artist Kat Von D. Multiple former students and even one former staff member of the school stood in support of Hilton's allegations in previous interviews with Fox News, ultimately dubbing her a hero. She has worked closely with the Breaking Code Silence movement which is made up of survivors raising awareness about institutional child abuse around the nation. Members of the movement previously told Fox News on that Hilton is, absolutely, the reason the issue made its way to the state Senate committee floor. Multiple former students and even one former staff member of the school stood in support of Hilton's allegations in previous interviews with Fox News, ultimately dubbing her a hero. She has worked closely with the Breaking Code Silence movement which is made up of survivors raising awareness about institutional child abuse around the nation. Members of the movement previously told Fox News on that Hilton is, absolutely, the reason the issue made its way to the state Senate committee floor.